Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so we're back out on the hunt today. Um, I've just arrived at Old Coat's um, car boot sale. It is quarter past seven in the morning. So um, I'm going to get around this one and hopefully um, make it over to Hemswell. So the um, classic um, route that I um, use are the two most um, local car boots to me. So um, hopefully we, uh, we find some nice items to show you at the end of the video. So let's go have a look and see what we can find. So guys, made my way into the um, field at um, Old Coats. Um, didn't really film a lot of um, items while I was walking around. It was quite busy, quite hot. Um, and to be honest, anything I did find was sort of well hidden and hard to root and array for it, to be honest. Um, there was a lot of just generic sort of toy, toy stores. But um, you'll see at the end of the video, I did find a few... Um, little gems amongst the um amongst all the stalls so it's just a bit of a the, the filming i did was just sort of an overview so pokemon cards were were spotted there was some wrestlers on this stall um tub there and then a couple of other tubs i went through um did pick up a few bits and you'll see them towards the end of the video this is about the biggest toy stall there was really we had a lot of jumble boxes to um to go through and pick through I see a couple of tubs of wrestlers there that I um, did end up going through. Then a few other bits and bobs that we um, did film. Um, this this stall coming up had a lot of loose Funkos. And again, I did pick a few of these up. So um, I'll show you them at the end of the video. Um, but um, there was some, um, some absolute gems I've picked up today. So let's see what there was. So there you have it. That was Old Coat's Car Boot. Um, because I got such a decent um, amount of stuff at um, Old Coats today, I decided not to go to Hemswell. I just um, I, I came home, um, and also just apologies for the um, the lack of um, filming around Old Coats. I did buy something for the pub, which was um, a bit hard to carry and film at the same time. So um, only a very limited amount of filming, but I did get some really good bits. Um, so. We'll start with what I call the pop tart section, even though he has left us. Um, so, a um, few more Blu-rays. Um, so, 25p, Pulp Fiction, and Snatch. And then 50p each, replacing the old MCU. I got um, Captain America Civil War. And Star Wars Rogue One. In my opinion, the best Star Wars film there is. Really like that film. So, not bad at all. £1.50 for films. That should keep me entertained for a um, little while. Um, then on to wrestlers. So, I've picked up some more wrestlers today. Um, so, first one, um, I picked up this um, Brock Lesnar. It is from a um, basic battle pack. Series 52 came with the Roman Reigns. I've actually got the Roman Reigns, so that finishes off the battle pack for me. So pleased to have grabbed that. Um, I then found this. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have the robe with it, but this is the Defining Moments Ric Flair. Um, so I do need to find him a robe. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of damage on the foot. I didn't notice when I picked it up, but um, I'm sure it will still display quite nicely in the collection. And... Then the Impact, I picked up another Impact um, Deluxe figure. And it's a deluxe across the line um, section, so it should, have, um, it should have a partner. But I got the Cowboy, James Storm, from his beer money pack with Bobby Roode. Just need to find him a cowboy hat to, um, to go on his head. But um, really pleased to have got another deluxe Impact figure. So they will be wrestlers today. And then um, on to the finds of the day. Um... You may have saw in the last bit of filming, there was a lot of Funko Pops loose on the table. Um, I picked up four. It was £3 each or two for a fiver. So these cost me £10. Um, obviously, with them being loose Funko Pops, you haven't got the full value there. But the TPD value for the four I've got off this one stall, remember I paid £10 for the four, um, is £148. Um, so really pleased with what I picked up. So first one was Tony Stark from Homecoming. Um, he'll be going into my collection. Um, and he's worth sixteen pounds. So that's the Homecoming Tony Stark. 
I then got this Loki from, um, it was the Dark World release, and that is worth £32. So um, £32 for the um, the Loki from Dark World. I've got the black and white version, but I didn't have the, um, the, the one with the colour. And then the two real stars, um, I found the loose versions of Thor and Loki from the Ragnarok Collector Corps box. So we've got Thor. I already have got this pot, so if anybody does want it, just let me know um, and I'll get it out to you. Um, so it's a loose Thor, um, but I wasn't leaving him for the price that he was, and he's worth £32 TPD. Obviously, about half that for a loose Funko Pop. And the absolutely star find, I saw it, I thought, you're worth a bit of money, mate. Um, and I wasn't wrong. The actual value of this um, Loki from the Marvel Collector Corps pop box currently is £66. So a real, real good find there. I'm really pleased with that one. So that is um, my haul from Old Coats today. I think I did rather well for myself. Um, really pleased with what I've got. Um, and a little bit of sunburn, if you can see around the old neck. But um, it was a blazing hot day. Um, so um, let me know in the comments what do you think of what I've picked up. I, I think we've, I've done, like I say, really well with the um, Funko Pop finds. Um, some really nice ones. And three of them that will go into my collection. So even better. Um, otherwise, if you haven't previously, please um, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate every single one of you who takes the time out of your day to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't, um, just um, drop us a comment on the end video. Let me know what you like about what I've picked up today. Otherwise, that is it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.